When developing a course using the third principle of universal design for learning, there are three specific guidelines to assist us. The third, self-regulation, addresses maintaining focus and determination. Criterion 3 of this guideline advocates that we develop self-assessment and reflection. Learners need to monitor their emotion and reactions accurately in order to develop their ability at self-regulation. The propensity and capacity for metacognition will vary greatly among learners. As an instructor, you should not be surprised to have students who may require considerable amounts of explicit instruction and modeling before they can self access effectively. For some, merely recognizing that they are making progress can be highly motivating. However, others may need more. The inability to recognize one's own progress can be a key demotivating factor. Having multiple models and scaffolds of a variety of self-assessment techniques is important so learners can select the ones that will work best for themselves. This will increase learners' awareness of their progress and how they may learn from their mistakes. The latter is critical as recognizing errors as educational opportunities is critical for accelerating growth and success. Some strategies to meet this criterion include providing tools to chart or display data that marks improvement to assist learners to modify strategies that will aid in this success. Provide ample activities that offer timely feedback that better frames the learner's progress. Developing assignments that supply feedback and allow learners to reflect on the feedback and adopt new strategies based on their reflection. Supplying a developed gradebook or center where learners can view their progress relative to the course and have access to detailed feedback. When using any learning management system such as Blackboard or Moodle, this is relatively easy because the feedback areas are already linked to the grade center. By following these suggestions, your course will assist students communicating and expressing their knowledge, as well as being in line the principles of engagement in the theory of universal design for learning. 